you faced by many more fights How different will things be now? But I just made it home that night Ain't even worth thinking about What's done is done, you can't change the past Just please stop torturing me and make a decision that's all I ask Cause I'm ready to accept my fate Whatever the outcome of this case Only thing I can't stand is the weight So hurry up already and decide to be scheduled 10 rounder teddy let's key in on the obvious here but in doing so let's talk about his mentality as to how he delivers it this is a guy that for most part wins all his fights by knockout same mentality i had when i went to school i couldn't wait to oh he is stunned he could go down body shot lands it was the right big left hand from iron mike oh that's gotta hurt oh right the bat, he goes down. Round number one, and he's on the floor. Came out a little careless, and he paid a price. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Good job protecting himself. That right hand serving him well. Halfway through round number one. Very nice defensive guard there. If I'm the fighter with high stamina fighting a fast, speedy guy like this, and you're my trainer, what are some of the things I absolutely have to remember that you told me? When you get on the inside, you better not make silent agreements and allow the faster guy to tie you off. You better be working, starting to take some gas out of his tank. see an issue there didn't land that straight right hand final 10 seconds oh he took some damage but he gave some back with the right hand end of that round and the knockdown was scored now teddy the fighter who was floored how do you treat him do you go do you go soft on him when he comes back or do you get right in his face what's the way to approach it you have to know your fighter you have to know the temperament of your fighter some guys you know they just kind of crawl up into a ball and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them other guys they react well to that so you got to know what he reacts to first of all and the most important thing you have to get information why did he get dropped you had your right hand down you got hit the hook get your right hand up you'll be okay just ate a big uppercut he's in bad shape The left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to get down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. He 
Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Able to cover up that gut. Back to the body! One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? And that round comes to an end. I'm not and you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Oh, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. The midst of the straight right. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He's doing a really good job here of being patient. And patient with a good reason, Teddy. You can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, and understanding what you have to get your opponent to do to help you. Because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. It's a little help from your opponent. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Can't work in the body. Mike Tyson tagged by a tremendous power punch. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. And now he's targeting upstairs. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And this round comes to an end. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. Tyson's power has been the biggest difference in this fight so far, Teddy. As we start round number four and we take a look at your scorecard, he's up two rounds to one. Yeah, because of that knockdown, that was the difference. But it's still close enough for his opponent just using his jab, fundamentals, the things that he has to do to still get back in it. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. Teddy, is this becoming a mental thing with him? I mean, he's not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. You know, that's a good question. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay.
Trying to chop that wood with that hook to the body. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Tyson's getting a big reminder here. The evening is not over. The job is not finished. Go out and keep at it. Good job! And yet another big shot comes in. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. Keep moving. Keep moving. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Oh! Tyson goes down. Once again, Tyson goes down. But will he get up again? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. The fight is over. Mike Tyson smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Kenny, it wasn't long ago. Everybody. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. He's a knockout puncher. Pure and simple. That's what he's done throughout his career. Win the majority of his fights by getting rid of his opponent. Reminds me of us when we were in school. You know, you just couldn't wait for that last bell to ring. And how quick were you out of there? Bang! You shot out of there. That's how quick it gets to his guy. How is this strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace and quiet. <laughs> He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. Goes up top with a right hand. Right to the body. Got a fast fighter on one side here, Teddy, against a high motor guy on the other side. A guy that'll be there working all night Keep long. What kind of fight line. do you expect? Well, I think what you want if you're the fast fighter is you want to relax a little bit, not go out and just shoot too fast early. Keep it nice and steady and control range a little bit. What an intense left hand by the greatest. 
He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Down he goes. He went down. Two. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Ali's combination punching is working well here. Last 10 seconds. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he... That's a crushing right hand by the greatest. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that. Wow! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Four. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Muhammad Ali is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Locks it away. Halfway through this round here. He missed with that headshot. Overhand right can be so effective. And now another left. Looks to the head. Good defensive skill. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. There's an excellent combination by Muhammad Ali. Stay away from those. Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. And we come to the end of round number two. Muhammad Ali is coming off a round where he scored big. He scored the knock. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. How about that? Another right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. That hook was well off the mark. Oh, he doesn't look good at all right now, Teddy. Not at all. We saw him knocked down earlier. What a big shot. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's it. 
It's over. Fight is over. The greatest is in prime. go the full 10 if we get that and bang and away he goes wow crushing blow upstairs two well not all knockdowns are created equal i think the knockout victim here is actually pretty fine yeah that was a flash knockdown you know he went down he got up right away now what he has to make sure it doesn't go past that flash point a stabbing right hand comes in by muhammad ali Good accuracy with that uppercut. Good solid one-two by Muhammad Ali. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. There's the hook. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so... Start doing it early on, and later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Well, it is what it is what we have in front of us. What is this, one of those where you warn our viewers, don't go get a sandwich? Or oh, just don't go to the refrigerator for anything. You're not going to have time to get back. Good power punch, the right hand landed. You're okay, stay with me here. Up top with the quick hook. Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. I think he's gonna go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Back and forth exchange. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. 
As far as the fighter with the faster hand speed goes, going up against the high stamina, high endurance guy, what is the one thing he has to be very conscious of? Where he is, geography. That he's in the center of the ring where he can use that speed. Stay out of those corners. Definitely, definitely stay off the ropes. Unable to get to Ali. Ali blocked it. Good right hand. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. That tells me he's still a little drunk. Keep your distance. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Muhammad Ali. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. In and out, in and out. Keep doing what you're doing. Good flush shot upstairs. Nice work, great technique, the combo lands. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Ali's ability to get to his man paid off well there. He damaged him in that round. And round number three is underway. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. There's a right hand. More than one punch downstairs. That could be damaging. And there he is scoring with the right hand. a shot now he gives a left Muhammad Ali is so dangerous with that accuracy a two-punch combination landing there's the uppercut one of my favorite punches and it works that time for him Back to the center. well something's got to stick he sends the combination to the body oh what a big hook to the head by Muhammad Ali Muhammad Ali lands the huge uppercut. Ali's doing a really nice job of giving a wide array of punches here to his opponent. Yeah, he's shown a good repertoire, and that's what you want to do. You want to be creative because then you set up other openings. Up top with the right hand. Keep working the job. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. How about that left hand? You gotta breathe. Breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? You're not winning this fight, right? Round number four underway. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Keep working the body. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Back to the body. 
And still accurate with that jab. There you go. Well, the quick read on this guy, if you watch this fight so far, is that he just doesn't jab enough. And that's the most basic thing in the world. You need that punch to make everything else happen. Come on, get Halfway through round number four. Exchange, scoring well with the right hands. Muhammad Ali's in bad shape. He got rocked. He just got rocked. Solid. Ali is rocked. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. <laughs> down but quick to get up boy he's got those great recuperative powers you know joe we've always seen the great ability you know you talk about powers we've seen the things that he does that are so tangible we can look at i mean it just shouts out now we're getting a peek inside what is inside muhammad ali all right keep your rage jab jab right and Ali's trying to clear his head now. He was knocked down in that last round, but I don't know if he's fully back just sitting on that stool. Double jab, such a useful tool, especially to the body like that. Muhammad Ali's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it, he's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy, and the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Watch your body, kid. Great body work shot. offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. Zones in on that overhand right. Nice jabs there by Muhammad Ali. Flush right hand to the head. That's it. That's it. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. In a later stage of the fight like we have right here, when you see one guy consistently getting hit with the right hand, what is the answer? Move your head. We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of who's really up. I can see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, what it's a testament to, Joe would say, it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. Ali's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Hits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. And now he's targeting upstairs. Halfway through round six. 
hands. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Carries that punch away. I shake it off. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Walks away that headshot. Ten seconds to go in this round. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. Don't oh, yourself. Still win this one. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Basic but beautiful jab right hand. Muhammad Ali is flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit, get out of range. He's doing nothing. Grabbing on to his opponent. Coming towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds hey, to go. Keep your hands up. And round seven comes to an end. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice. You know. You know, I get the sense as we open up this eighth round that he knows exactly where he stands right now. He's slightly up on your scorecard, but you can see he's got a little pep in his step. Look yeah, and he has go. a choice to make. Do you just stay in? Really, this is what separates guys sometimes in anything we do out there. Yeah, that's not just it. boxing, but does he just stay ahead now? Does he just slightly stay ahead? Maybe the other guy catches up then. Or does he look to go after? Does he look to close the show? Take more. Ali's, oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses oh, are going to go out. Well, out. guess what? The Thanks punches yourself. sooner or later, they're going to come in. point of round number eight. There's no need to guard your head. That right hand serving him well.
Muhammad Ali is putting forth that. There it is! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Ali's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Listen, I don't want to see who gets the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Good, good, nice work. The ninth round is here. If keep that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Muhammad Ali. Nice work, nice work. And now he's targeting upstairs. Watch the headshot. Muhammad Ali. Oh, and there you go. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Seven, eight, nine. And it's all over. Muhammad Ali's unable to get up and continue on. So here we for the championship distance of 12. Teddy, let's key in on the obvious here, but in doing so, let's talk about his mentality as to how he delivers it. This is a guy that, for the most part, wins all his fights by knockout. Same mentality I had when I went to school. I couldn't wait till it was over. Let's see some more head movements. There's more room for defensive error with the taller fighter, I assume, here? Yes, there is, because now all of a sudden you're punching down. You're taught to punch on a straight plane where you don't leave anything open. 
you punch down and somebody comes up with a punch, next thing you know, you're picking yourself up off the canvas. Boy, he's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. That's why they call it the sweet science. Good work by Barry. Yeah, real smart there. Making a miss, making him pay. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Wow, is he defensively sound. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Scored well up top. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. The last 10 Keep seconds of this first round. Round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with you here ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how accurate he is. I mean, he makes the most of what he throws. Yeah, he makes it count. This is a guy who doesn't want to waste anything. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He has his target. He lands the straight right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. And now you see him. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and he goes down. First knockdown tonight. So he was knocked down there, but now he's giving you every indication that he's fresh and ready to go back after it. Yeah, well, I think he's giving that to you because he is, as you said, just a quick knockdown. But right now, what he's got to be careful for is the same mistake again. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Nice, solid left hand scored by Barry. Barry's being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. Hits him in the mug with the right. Barry's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. And you see what he... Hard charging with big shot. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? The ref stops the fight. Barry's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. He's coming up a...